This review is on the movie Dawn of the Beast. I'm the angry guy, and I'm going to tell you like it is. I'll tell you how I think this film got created. I believe people had to do a book report or a thesis and found a couple of big words while doing research on cryptozoology. Had a circle of friends, and one was rich. If not having a rich friend, they talked to an awkward person like human dad joke with a lot of moolah and convinced them to join their little production company. So after assembling everything they thought they needed to create a movie, they did what? They partied. And while everyone was half in the bag, they all decided, how hard could it be to make a movie? <laughs> Two best parts in the dawn of the beast no it was certainly not the acting the script which was what jake stepped in and seemed to be written by a senior in high school or a freshman in college was it the large amount of makeup on some actors so they look more scarier as monsters no what about the moose with glowing eyes I don't think so. I will tell you what the best parts of the film was. First, it was the very beginning of the film. Words written explain the narrative of the entire movie. And the second best part of the film was the only legitimate jump scare. When Isabel was about to, ready to jump into her vehicle to go to town. And the professor comes up behind her without her knowing it. And asked her if he could go to town. Also, to call his wife. The director's debut film, The Tomorrow Paradox, won awards at the Boston Sci-Fi Film Festival, The Audience Choice, and Buffalo Dreams Fantastic Festival, Best Sci-Fi Feature. The film, The Tomorrow Paradox, won those awards, not this film. Couldn't find The Tomorrow Paradox film on IMDb, but Rotten Tomatoes had a 75% audience Popcorn with a fewer than 50 ratings. 50 ratings. Hmm. That number is subject on how many friends does he really have? Two tips on not how to make a scary movie. For Pete's sakes, do not show any monsters at the very beginning of the film. What the pickles? Making Sasquatch like King Kong, you might as well put him in a Geico commercial to sell insurance. Monsters. The more makeup you put on a monster does not make them scarier, especially in rubber suits with diodes for eyes. Bad decisions. The guy. The human dad joke. He started a vehicle. Good. Now step on the gas and get the hell out of your situation. Immediately, human joke had an opportunity to back up and do some damage. No, he gets chased out of his vehicle, crawls underneath the truck, and jumps into the bed of the vehicle and slides all the way back to the cab. If you got out of your truck, you have the entire woods to run into. Gee whiz. Now, I love this maneuver. Vehicle started, monsters on the prowl, and you turn your vehicle off. What a dickwad! A person never ever turns off their vehicle in the middle of a forest, desert, or at night when monsters are all around, you fucking asshole! What about running over someone that is on fire, which they had a chance to do earlier without flames? Running, on, running them over with flames, flying high will? What will happen to your truck? Come on, tell me! You will catch Everett's new truckie on fire! have one good thing to say about the film, Dawn of the Beast. The poster was excellent, crisp and clear, but they kind of exaggerated on the teeth just a little, just a, just a tiny little bit. Out of an alphabetic score, I give the film Dawn of the Beast a fucking D minus. Would I recommend this movie? Not even to my abdominal snowman. <laughs> Hey, thank you for watching, thank you for commenting, and thank you for subscribing. Thank you.